This video is about how to use Teaching Brass, a guide for students and teachers. Teaching Brass is a hard copy book and a website. If you bought your book from a bookstore, your access code will be inside the front cover. If you bought your book from Mountain Peak Music, you will have received an email that contains your access code. In either case, in order to use your access code, point your browser to mountainpeakmethods.com and click on the register tab. This is where you will enter your access code, it's case specific. Once you submit your code you will receive an email that will ask you for a few details. That's where you will set up your account. Please remember your username and password that you choose because from now on that's how you'll log in. Once you use your initial access code you no longer need it. You'll need your username and your password. So here we are at that screen. That's the login screen. And now I'm inside Mountain Peak Methods, which is the host for lots of different books. This account happens to have all these different books. If you only purchased Teaching Brass, then that's the only book that will show up. So we have a search feature here. Let's just show you how it looks to search for uh, trombone. Here are the results. On this page, you can see everywhere where the word trombone appears. So we can go right back to the main table of contents. Teaching Brass is organized by subject, obviously. And we have a few introductory chapters that are common to all brass instruments. Beginning technique, here's the harmonic series. go back to the main table of contents. Once we get past those introductory chapters, then we have a chapter for each instrument. Here's the trumpet. This is the trumpet overview chapter. And on each page you can navigate right back to the top, or you can continue to the next chapter. Here's the trumpet equipment chapter. Lots of images. Here's the mouthpiece section. Lots of links. When you have a link like this, it will always open in a new window. So when you close that window, you're right back to where you started. We can continue to Chapter 6C. Here's Trumpet Tone. Whenever you see this icon, it means there's a PDF to download. Whenever you see this icon, it means there's an audio file to play. Your audio page will open. Just click on Play. And when you close that window, you're right back to where you started. Continue to 6D. Here's trumpet technique. Alternate fingerings. When you see this icon, it means there's a video to play. There's the video page. You can make the video full screen. In this video, we will discuss or you can escape trumpet hand positions. And close that window, and you're right back to where you started. There are internal links which might take you to a different part of the book if there's a related area. Back to the top. If you ever need to go to the main table of contents, just click on the tab at the top. At the very bottom, we have all the resources sorted by format for you. So this is all the videos in Teaching Brass. All the audio files, here are the PDFs. This is the PowerPoint library. It says PowerPoint, but if you happen to be on a Mac, these will open up in Keynote automatically. They both work. So if we were to click on one of these, it'll open automatically for you. And I click on Play and I can use my forward and back arrows. So the idea is you read the question and think of the answer before advancing the slide and when you do you can check your answer. It's a self quiz. Press escape and then you can close that window and you're back to where you were. Here's teaching brass again, main table of contents. One more thing I wanted to show you is the image gallery. We've collected all of the images from Teaching Brass. 
so you can scroll through them to study. They each have a caption, and you can use your forward arrow to go through all the images and study in that way. Close that out, and there's Teaching Brass.